Today MTD CNC have travelled to WAF Group to find out about this very successful business that's been going for over 41 years and we're also going to find out about their very successful business with Haas. Matt, thank you very much for inviting MTD CNC to your fantastic business today. Can you tell our audience about the business, please? Yeah, we established in 1980, making jet wash hoses. My father established it. Uh, then in 84, 85, we started to develop a uh, electronics business with the mining industry and how that was taking off. Uh, and then slowly over the time, we've developed various different products um, that have helped us to develop into the company that we are today. And when did you get into CNC machining? Probably about two years ago. Uh, we started to develop our own products maybe five years ago uh, and we needed a good, reliable subcontract business to uh, enable us to actually develop those products properly. And we found that um, the only people that could do that properly was ourselves. So we had to learn very quickly how to CNC. So you made a transition from subcontracting your work out to bring in that work in-house. Yeah. Um, how was that transition and what kind of benefits are you seeing from making that leap of faith? I think the biggest benefits is our own control. We, we can control everything from how a product is designed through to how it's actually manufactured uh, on the shop floor here. Um, and the quality. So it, it's consistent. Uh, we can learn the best ways of actually milling it, cutting it. Um, and the, the actual engineers that actually design it now have a better understanding of how things are made. So from the design aspect, you've always designed, you know, even when you were subcontracting the parts, has it evolved your design process to, to, to you know, make the components even better? Yeah, it, it does, no, no question about it, because whereas normally you have a design, you fix it because a subcontractor has given you a price. Now we can continually improve that by small modifications because we have that control. It doesn't take much to go and change uh, a rad on a particular job because it'll make it easier for them to cut. So it's a big, big um, step forward for your business introducing the CNCs. Yeah, it is, yeah. They're um, very, very quick learning curve as well for us. And in two years, I mean, you know, looking behind yeah, you, you <laughs> it seems like you've come a long way um, into two years. It, from a business uh, perspective, you know, how did you go about choosing a CNC partner? Yeah, I think that was one of the, the third generation that's come in now, William. Um, it was his responsibility to go out there and find and persuade me to actually start to invest in that, and he's done a lot of that work. So I'm going to go and talk to William now, Matt, to find out how and why he chose Haas. So, Will, tell me about the Haas journey and why you went for Haas. OK, um, so we started with Haas roughly about two years ago, having no experience in CNC machining. We actually started off with a Haas Super Mini Mill 2. Um, located in the corner, we brought our, machine, our machining in-house. Uh, as we were growing, as we were designing, we found it was a necessity to have that key understanding and to be able to make our products in-house so we can tweak the designs as and when we need them. So it kind of started off as a, a prototyping aspect to start with, uh, still working hand-in-hand -hand with a few subcontractors, but as we grew, we needed that support, which we didn't have, which we had to find ourselves. So we grew from that. So we went from a, a Haas Super Mini Mill 2. Within a matter of weeks, we actually went to a, a UMC 500, which is actually behind me, which is a full five axis simultaneous machine. Um, that jump uh, from three axis to five axis, most people would be quite scared of, but it was actually really easy and really simple. We had a lot of support with Haas. Um, has a support and a bit of hand holding, especially from somebody with no machining background, uh, was paramount. We, we picked Hass not just because of uh, the actual machine tools uh, attractive price, but also because of their, their service and how they supported us and how they worked with us hand in hand to start with from the ground up to what we have now. We're, we're arguably surrounded by three of Hass's best machines. Um, but we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for those initial baby steps. We had the, um, the Super Mini Mill uh, moving around the workshop because we were driving it so hard and so fast. But that's what drove us to move to the UMC 500, which has been our workhorse probably for the last two years. So, you know, this is a fascinating story. You know, within six weeks, you've, you, you've grown from 
a Haas mini mill to a full simultaneous fifth axis CNC from someone that's never used a CNC before. You know, this is a real massive transition. We didn't find it scary. Um, it's because of we're very cam driven. We're not. I wouldn't. I'd say we're not old school machinists. We are engineers. We are electrical electronic engineers um, with a bit of mechanical engineering thrown in there into the mix. And because we tackled it from that perspective, so very cam CAD heavy, um, we don't program very long hand at all. It's maybe a little bit on the lathe, which obviously is a necessity. But from the five axis, we would use uh, Fusion 360, um, which would allow us to very quickly turn around our programming. Combined with the fact that we actually work with Microlock uh, for our work holding that would be on the 500 and also now on the EC400. Um, what that allowed us to do is we would CAD the job up in CAM and program everything, so collision avoidance, um, we could simulate how rigid a job was, it, and it just worked so perfectly for us. Um, the machine itself is super rigid. Um, I know you look at different machine tools, I've done a lot of investigation in to, there are many competitors out there, and has, for me, fat, fit into that lovely middle bracket, whereas somebody who's not afraid to try and push it a bit further, but combine that with the support, the maintenance contracts, the, the true cost of owning a CNC machine, once we'd researched that, Haas was the only logical choice.